Hi everyone. So today in this video, I'm going to discuss the OET letter for nurses. And so today's letter is very different. So many candidates, they face difficulty when they are writing letter to a person who is not a medical professional. So today's letter, uh, it is saying you are writing the letter to a child's parents. You need to give the status of the child's injury and his current condition. So let's have a look on writing task. So the writing task for today is you need to write to the child's parents with a summary of Kate Murray's injury. The name of the patient is Kate Murray and any relevant information they need for her immediate care and future rehabilitation. So it's very clear that you're writing the letter to the parents of a child and to give summary about that patient's injury and also the relevant information they need for her immediate care and future rehabilitation. So we are very clear now. Now let's have a look on the case notes. So the case note says you are an orthopedic nurse and today's date is 27th of August 2012 and you are an orthopedic nurse at the Brisbane Children's Hospital Fracture Clinic. So you're a nurse at the clinic. It's very clear now. Your patient is Kate Murray who broke her leg while doing gymnastics after school. She was taken to the clinic by a school staff member as her parents could not be contacted at the time of the accident. So this patient, uh, she broke her leg while doing gymnastics after school. Now, looking towards the patient's history, name is given to you. Date of birth is 10th of July 2005. Parents name is Scott and Suzanne Murray. Address is given to you and journal health is good, not any medication, no known allergies. So recent medical history, it is of today only, that is 27th of August 2012 and children's emergency. Patient presented distressed with pain and swelling in her right lower leg, unable to stand. X-ray revealed spiral fracture to right tibia, no displacement. Back slab and bandage applied. Panadol was given to the patient for pain and crutches fitted and supplied on loan. So what's the plan now? Appointment scheduled for fiberglass cast 1.30 p.m. on 3rd of September at Brisbane Children's Hospital Fracture Clinic. Then care of the affected leg. During the first 48 hours, keep the limb elevated above the level of heart to reduce swelling and encourage toe movement. Elevate your child's leg on pillows when resting. Assist your child in gaining confidence with the use of crutches. So this is a plan for the parents. Now, they need to check for the following. Excessive swelling of the toes, pins and needles, tingling and burning, numbness or loss of feeling, inability to move toes, and upset child that cannot be settled. If any of the above occur, elevate the limb for 20 minutes and encourage toe movement. If the symptoms are not relieved, call Brisbane Children's Hospital on this number immediately. Next is about the skin care. Ensure your child does not scratch under the cast with sharp objects, for example, knitting needles, chopsticks or pens. Children may push objects under the plaster and this can cause pressure and ulcer on the skin. Now, how to do the cast care? Do not wet, cut, heat the cast at home. Do not allow your child to walk on a leg cast or take part in any active play or sport. And then the rehabilitation says, usual recovery takes 6 to 10, min 6 to 10 weeks. Uh, there may be some stiffness and weakness in the limb. After cast removal, bone still healing. So care required for at least another month. Sometimes physiotherapy is needed to help improve muscle strength, joint mobility and balance. Can do non-impact sports like swimming. Must not do gymnastics for four weeks or other impact activities such as skateboarding, horse riding or running. So full recovery expected with no long term effects. So this was all about the patient's history, patient's medical history, what happened to the patient, what was the plan. Most of the things here in the case, student, case notes include the plan, the care of the skin, the cast care and also the care of the affected leg. So in this scenario, you are writing the letter to the parents of a child. So be careful, do not use the vocabulary or the sentences which seems to be very medical, professional or which are not suitable for a common person. So you are writing the letter to a common person, those who have no knowledge regarding medical profession. 
So let's see how you have to write a letter. Let's go for the introduction first. So date we have written 27th of August and Mr. and Mrs. Murray, their address, dear Mr. and Mrs. Murray. And in the subject, we just have to write the name of the patient. So we'll write Miss Kate Murray. Now, how you have to start it? I am writing with regard to your seven year old daughter, Kate, who has fractured her right lower leg following the incident in the gymnastic class and will therefore require extra attention and care. It's very simple. In regard to your daughter who has fractured her right lower leg following the incident in the gymnastic class and she requires extra attention and care. Then she was brought into the hospital by her school teacher as both of you were not available when contacted. Her fractured leg has been back slab and bandage along with the supply of crutches on loan. She may take tablet Panadol if required. So uh, in the introduction we have mentioned about the chief complaints and the main thing the purpose of writing the letter. Then in the second paragraph we'll just tell about her recovery plan. We can just say to assist with the recovery of her fracture right tibia. She must be encouraged to keep her leg elevated to her chest level during the first 48 hours and while resting in order to reduce the swelling. Moreover, her fractured leg should be observed for abnormal sensations such as numbness, tingling or burning or pins and needles as well as swelling in the toes. Please note, if she suffers from any of these symptoms, elevate her leg for 20 minutes. In case the symptoms persist, please ring on this number immediately. In addition, the main thing we have to mention is she is scheduled for an appointment for fiberglass cast at 1.30 p.m. on 3rd of September 2012. Our Children's Hospital Fracture Clinic. So, we don't have to mention many students, they make mistakes. Like they mention what happened to the patient and what you provided. No, we don't have to write anything because you are not writing to a medical professional. You just have to write the information which is needed by the parents. So this is the most important information that the parents need that what they have to do during the recovery of their child and also in case of emergency and what she is scheduled for in the next few days. Now let's move on to the next paragraph. Okay, the next paragraph. After this, we have to write that uh, we have to write about her recovery and how much time will it take and the things we need to mention about her recovery only. So we will just write in the context of her recovery, her fracture will heal fully from 6 to 10 weeks without any long term effect. However, heavy activities such as running, skateboarding and gymnastics must be avoided for another month following the removal of the cast. Therefore, to improve muscle strength, mobility and gaining balance, involvement of physiotherapist is recommended. Please contact me if you have any inquiries regarding your daughter's health. You don't have to write. If you, if you need more information regarding this patient, feel free to contact me. No, no any formal language. You just have to write simple letter in a simple language so that a common person can understand. In the end, we just have to mention this thing only precautions like they, she, they have to avoid heavy activities and all. So if you look out this letter, this letter is very simple written. You, you have not included any uh, scientific term and any difficult phrase. Be simple. So just imagine you are a person to whom it is being written. So it's very easily understandable. So this is how you have to attempt a letter when you are writing to a parent or guardian of a patient or you are writing to a person who is not medical professional, especially the family of the patient. So this type of letter is expected for the next exam. So please practice these types of letters. Do write the letter on your own and you can send your letters to us. We will correct it and share the video with you. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you have liked the video and the letter is clear to you. So keep on practicing and keep on watching our videos. You can contact the numbers given below and avail exciting offers. And you can join our online and offline courses. Especially, we are offering the time flexibility. Either you are at any place of the world, you can just avail our courses. So, all the best. Bye-bye. Take care.